Good morning! In celebration of the Nutrition Month this July, we would like to give you some tips on how you can have the best of health as part of our company's mission of helping people live better every day. Hi, I'm Tina Perias, a registered nutritionist dietitian, a vlogger, and an advocate of healthy living through natural foods and products. Today, I would like to share with you all about vitamin K. Why is it important and what are the food sources that are rich in vitamin K? Did you know that vitamin K is a nutrient that plays an important role in blood clotting and in bone and heart health? Inadequate intake of vitamin K over time can lead to cardiovascular diseases and even osteoporosis. So that's the main reason why we should take vitamin K. So there are two types of vitamin K. Vitamin K1, also known as phyloquinone. Phylo refers from the word phylo means plants and vitamin K2 or menaquinone which comes from animal and fermented products. So, alam nyo ba, sa mga countries like Japan, they have very long life. Primarily because they have high consumptions of vitamin K2 coming from the fermented soybeans called NATO. And in Germany and or in other parts of France, wherein they are rich in cheese, dry cheese, and sauerkraut, they have also high serum levels of vitamin K2. So, ano naman yun kung mataas ang vitamin K2? So, recent studies last year, 2020, they have found out that people with low levels of vitamin K2 in the blood have poor outcomes from COVID-19. Ibig sabihin, may mga taong mabagal or matagal gumaling sa COVID-19, they are people with low levels of vitamin K2 in the blood. So, what are the food choices na pwede mong pagkuhanan ng vitamin K2? Pag vitamin K1, all green leafy vegetables are good sources of vitamin K1. But, vitamin K2 or menaquinone, which is much more effective in blood clotting, in preventing cardiovascular diseases, and osteoporosis, it can be found on animal products like eggs, cheese, and other dairy products, and fermented products. So, here are some of the 13 foods that have high levels of vitamin K2. Uh, in green leafy vegetables, you can find vitamin K2 in spinach, in broccoli, in Brussels sprouts, cheese, beef liver. Also, you can find vitamin K2 in pork chop, in chicken, in dried fruits like prunes. Uh, kiwi is also a good source of vitamin K2. You can also find vitamin K2 in soybean oil, avocado, green peas, and soft cheeses. So, those are just some of the foods na pwede mong makuha na ng vitamin K2. If the meal preparation is difficult for you, I recommend supplements high in vitamin K2. And one of those is Cardiolite. So, Cardiolite is a premium product of lifestyles which contains vitamin K2 or menaquinone 7. Basically, ang ginagawa niya, dinadala niya yung calcium papunta sa ating bones at sa ating teeth, preventing osteoporosis. And, tinatanggal niya ang calcium doon sa mga lugar na hindi dapat nandun yung calcium, like in our joints, in our kidneys, and in our arteries where they can cause calcification and then eventually a blockage. People naman 
who are taking vitamin D because there are some research then that vitamin D can help can help prevent COVID-19 just make sure na papartneran mo yung vitamin D mo ng K2 ng vitamin K2 excess vitamin D can cause calcification kidney stone and uric acid stones so para hindi siya mabuo at maging stone kailangan mo ng vitamin K2 para yung calcium dadalhin ng ating blood papunta doon sa dapat yung paglagyan which is the bones and our teeth basically that's what vitamin K2 is all about there are some studies in the Netherlands that people who have high levels of vitamin K2 in the blood have higher chances of getting healed faster from COVID-19. And as a prevention, if we don't want to have COVID-19, make sure you have high doses of vitamin K2 in your diet or in, the, in your blood because it's one of the prevention for COVID-19. Vitamin K2 at a glance. So, you can try these products. You can try this product, Cardiolite, because it can do wonders in your body. K2, by the way, the recommended daily allowance for vitamin K2 in an, in an adult is 120 micrograms. So, one capsule of Cardiolite contains 30 micrograms of vitamin K2. So, in a day, you can take at least 4 capsules per day to meet your daily requirements. But, take note if you, have, if you are taking prescription drugs for like blood thinners, make sure you consult first with your doctor if you can use uh, this product but basically if you if you use two capsules every day it will be okay maximum of two capsules per day for people with medications for blood thinner okay so there you have it the 13 foods that are high in vitamin k2 so, if you want to try Cardiolife, you can contact your nearest lifestyle distributor. Thank you and God bless!